but you was taught that all your life. You was taught that all your life. But we're reading curses that only happen to who? Us. So we're the only ones that got a true God. Read on down. We didn't do it back then, and today we not doing it still. Now we're reading y'all with true history like you asked. We're reading that history. Now he didn't say that was gonna happen to African Americans. What did he call us? Read up. Huh? That's, that's exactly what he that's called. That's right. That's right. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this true. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. Are you I see? I'm doing well, doing well. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Do you celebrate Christmas? What is your nationality? You're Puerto Rican. Quick question for you. What does Puerto Rican mean? My sister right here in the gray. Y'all coming back out the store? Come talk to us when y'all come outside. What does Puerto Rican mean? Do you know what Puerto Rican mean? No? Rich port. Are you a port? Are you a port? No. <laughs> no. Now, mind you, your real name is Ephraim. You go to church? You ever read the Bible before? No. It's not a problem. You can teach it anyway. So in the Bible, these are the people that led everybody from here down to America first. So your lineage is a rich lineage who led all of the Hispanics and Native Americans to America before everyone. So you know how they say our people was already here. Your people were the ones that brought them here. But you have to teach that to your kids. But you also have to teach your kids to do what God said or what will happen. Because me and you are parents. I'm a parent. I got children. Shoot. He got children. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, what will God do to our kids? What's your name, sis? Vanessa, if me and you don't teach our kids about God, what will God do to us and our children? Have you ever been told? No. Did you read that in Hosea 4, 6? Just give you something before you leave. Let's read that. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So God says we're destroyed because we don't know God. That knowledge is we don't know the commandments of God. Read on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. So because we reject God. I will also reject thee. God says he'll reject me and you. But watch this as parents. What does he say about us? How you doing, sis? You can walk up. We ain't gonna bother you. We your brothers. That thou shall be no priest to me. Go ahead. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Now, so listen to this next statement. It says, seeing that we forgot the laws of God. I will also forget thy children. You want your children to be forgotten by God. So then we have to do what God says as parents. If we don't, God is going to forget our kids like he said. You understand, Vanessa? I know y'all got to go because she's getting restless, so that's cool. But make sure you got a flyer, right? Yes. Look, look us up, sis. Okay. Look us up. How you doing, mother? How you doing? What's about, our real about our real history. Cool. You can come up. We're not going to bother you. We ain't going to bother you. Why do people stand all the way back from us? Because, you know, I, you know, a lot of people don't like well, look, we want. Well, look. Well, I'm a. I got you. Well, we want you to come up on us. We cool. <laughs> we cool with it. Okay. So this is gonna. Both of y'all finna learn the same thing because you want to know our real history, and he says he's African American. Yeah, because I was telling him I didn't know how old he was. I said, when I was coming up, we wasn't really taught our history. 
Mm-hmm. It was always the white people. I'm just telling that. No, go ahead. White people history. 100%. And I was like, okay, but what the my people do? You know, yeah, we knew about Martin Luther King. Yes. A little bit about, you know. Y'all should come and listen to what this sister's saying. She's saying some good stuff right now. I kept saying, I'm like, but where is my people, though? It's just only a couple of them that you're telling us about. I know my people been here longer than that. Yes, yes, we have. (laughs) Now watch this. My sister in the gray, how old are you? Huh? 32. How old are you, bro? 29. I'm 41. How old are you, mother? 54. Now, I'm three years older than African American. Wake them up. So me and you ain't African Americans. That wasn't even around when I was born and when you was born. But we are the same people. So how in the world are y'all two different than us, but we're the same? That's what they classify. Is that a race though, is what we're asking. Yes, because it's not. Just like, so if African American is not your race, then what is your race? African descent. That's African descent. There's 50 some countries in Africa. Which one you come from? You see what I'm saying? They never teach that to our kids. Yeah. Even your daughter that's standing in front of you now. They don't teach that to us. Because watch this. Did this happen in history for real? Did our slavery that they taught us in school, slave ships and all, did it happen in real life? Yes, it did happen. That is why your last name is not yours. That is why you got the same, the name of the people that beat this and this man back, we have those last names on us. Because it really happened. So now, is it in the Bible that it was going to happen? You go to church, my mother back here, you go to church? You go to church on what day? Sundays? Do you know the fourth commandment out of the ten? Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. When is the Sabbath day in the Bible? Saturday. So now, when did we learn Sunday worship? It was beaten in us. Right. Sunday worship was never our thing. It was beaten in us. And now we do it voluntarily. Just like we do birthdays. You know we never celebrated birthdays in the Bible. They forced us to do it. So now, I'm going to read this history out of the Bible. So then when your daughter asks you, Mother, who are we? You will be able to explain it to her with no problem. You understand? Follow me. Follow me. Well, listen. Now you heard. So now you have a flyer and we're going to show you how to teach it. And if you ever need to know how, all you got to do is look us up and call us. We will tell you on the phone. We answer the phone all hours of the day. For free, because we don't got no pots asking for no tithe money. Right. Because churches ask for tithing, right? But they tell us the laws of God are done away with, right? Bring it up. Tithing is a law in the Old Testament, so why do they make us do that one, but they don't tell us to do the rest of them? Bring it up. Because every pastor that do Sunday worship is lying, all of them. Right. Because the Bible says Saturday, so why did you pick the wrong day then? Now watch this. So now we're going to show who we really are, according to God, our God-given name, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because the whole Bible is written to one race of people. Did you know that? You knew the whole, what's the name of the race of people? I see you shook your head. Yes, see, I'm, I challenge it because I want to make sure you know. Yeah. So what's the name of the race of people that the Bible was written to? If you don't know, that's cool. We're going to tell you anyway. What she said? You said tell you? We finna tell you. Read this right here. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses said. My bad. Hold on. Is that too loud for you? Uh-uh. No. You I'm good? Bugged. Okay. I just want to make sure it ain't hurting your ear. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who is Moses talking to? All of who? All of Israel. That's what he called them, right? Now, let's see what he said to all of Israel. Because remember... Did the Israelites come out of, wasn't they slaves under Pharaoh? Were we free? Were the Israelites free under Pharaoh? Why do you know that? How do you know that? Why would you say that? Okay, what would you say? Y'all saw it in the movies? What would you say? You got it from the Bible. What did it say in the Bible? Yeah, that particular story to where you would be like, no, they were not free under Pharaoh. What would you say? 
Because it said that, listen, let my people go. Yeah. Why would Moses have to say, let my people go if we could just leave? Yeah. It's just like now. Can we just leave America if we want to? Why you say no? She said yes, you said no. You gotta have paperwork. You gotta have what? Paperwork. So that means you just can't go. You gotta get approval to leave. Right. Right. You need permission. A passport is permission right. to leave. No. It's, that, it's not that you can go. So, Sister in the Gray, you're an Israelite. Read the flyer. Read on. Now let's go to Deuteronomy 28:15. Let's see what God said would happen to the very people he called Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is talking to the same Israelites. It shall come to pass, meaning in the future. Moses is saying, look, in your future, this is what's going to happen. Go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe, to do all his commandments. If you don't do the commandments, because remember they got the commandments at Mount Sinai. These very same Israelites. He said, if y'all do not do what, he, what God is telling us to do, what is he going to do? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, what will happen if we didn't listen to God? What did he say? We're going to be cursed. We're going to have a bunch of curses on us, right? Watch this. What happened to us in slavery? Huh? We was beaten. Raped? raped? So we was raped. Our women was raped, right? Men too. Men too. But watch this. Read verse 30. Read verse 30 of these curses. Go ahead. Verse 30. Thou shalt be chalk and white. Then you would get a wife. And another man shall lie with her. Could we stop them? <laughs> We're reading that out of the Bible, though. Read on down. Bring it up. Thou shalt build in house. We, we, didn't we build up America? We built all these houses. Matter of fact, we built the White House. Right. Go ahead. And thou shalt not dwell therein. Do we live in those houses we built? Hmm. Bible just said you're going to build up a whole goddamn house and you can't live in the house though. That's why you got slave quarters and outhouses and, and huts. Because that's where we live, yeah. even shacks, even though we built up the place. We lived in the shacks that was behind it in the backyard. Go ahead. Thou shalt plant a vineyard. We're going to plant all these crops. And shall not gather the grapes thereof. Did we eat out of it? <laughs> That's what the Bible is saying. Right. What happened to our kids? Matter of fact, you know, how, you know how we like to ask for reparations today? Watch this. We ask for reparations today, right? Read on down. Verse 31. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. So, wasn't our cattle taken from us? Now, mind you, wasn't the Native Americans here first? Didn't they have buffalo? Where all the buffalo go? There is literal history of mounds of buffalo bones. They killed to starve them out and then made us sick. Gave us smallpox. Which now we get a version of it, which is chicken pox. Why don't we read about all the other races getting that disease? Wake them up. <laughs> there you go. Read on down. So it said that they would take our cattle from us. Go ahead. And thou shalt not eat thereof. Uh -huh. Thine ass shall be violently taken away. Said that the ass will be violently taken away. So that means they're going to kill us to take them. They're going to beat us to take them. Go ahead. From before thy face, uh -huh. it shall not be restored to thee. Are we going to get reparations based off of what God said? Bring it up. They shall not be restored. Uh, uh, 40 acres and a mule. That just said that ass ain't coming back. God said you ain't getting them. Wake them up. So all these reparations we asking for, God already said we not going to get it. So what are we voting for? Bring it up. Hey. When it's a law, it's against God's laws for us to vote to put anybody over us. Right. We sin every time we go to the polls. Get up. Because who's our king? Christ. So what we vote for somebody else for then, huh? Right. <laughs> Remember, God said if we don't keep the commandments, he's going to put these curses on us. And they still on us now? Read on down. Let's see. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies. Uh -uh. Wait, all the other races got our land now. Got all our cattle when we ride through the country. They own them. Right. Now they give us GMO food, lab-grown food, and put them in our stores in our neighborhoods while they eat all the good stuff. Right. 
and then we get sick. Right. Because God said it's a curse because we did we still don't want to do what he said. Yep. We didn't do it back then, and today we're not doing it still. Now we're reading our true history like you asked. We're reading that history. Now he didn't say that was gonna happen to African Americans. What did he call us? Bring it out. Huh? That's that's exactly what he that's called. That's right. That's right. That's who you are, bro. Right. Now read on down. And thou shalt have none to rescue them. And that's why ain't nobody came and saved us. Martin Luther King tried. Malcolm X tried. Sojourner True tried. Harriet Tubman tried. Right. We still in the land of our slavery now. Because right. guess right. who's our savior? That's, that's right. the only one going to get us out of here. That's right. And the only way we get out of here is do what God said. Good. Everybody want to go in the rapture. But everybody ain't go through what we're reading. So can everybody be saved then? Bring it out. The case. Yeah. Bring it so out. that would mean God is not for everybody. Teach. <laughs> but you was taught that all your life. You was taught that all your life. But we're reading curses that only happened to who? Us. So we're the only ones that got a true God. Read on down. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen? <laughs> Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All we could do was cry. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Did we ever get our children back when they sold them off? Ain't that what they just said? Ain't no might in your hand to do nothing about them. We're reading about curses that God said is going to happen to us. We ain't even read all of them. It's 15 through 68. We just read three verses. Right. We only read three verses. 15 through 68. Now we're going to read 68, though. Read that. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery. Because the Israelites just came out of Egypt. It was not called Egypt back then. Now, you know, y'all go to church before, right? Y'all ever heard when people say the Bible explains itself? Do y'all know what that really means? Uh-huh. That everything that's in the Bible, what? Is happening. Okay. So that would mean there's prophecies in the Bible. When everybody says that everything in the Bible explains itself, that means whatever God says, you can read it in another place where he tell you what it means. Right. So now we're going to read what the word Egypt means when God say it. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Well, what Egypt means? Out of the house of bondage. House of what? So what does Egypt mean? House of what? What's another word for bondage? <laughs> Slavery. Right. Now let's read that again in Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery again How? with ships with what with ships look at here hmm. that happened for real that's in the Bible as a curse white people never went into slavery on slave ships Chinese people never went into slavery on slave ships Japanese Arabs no other race ever went into slavery on slave ships but we can say we did in the history of the planet, you can't find it. Because that would mean, you know how we like to, why are we the only ones that went into slavery? We, did, why did God say we went into slavery? Why did he say he would put the curses on us? To do, because we didn't do what? So that is why, that is the answer to that question. Because that would mean, watch this. We're going to read down, then I want Psalms 147. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. It's gonna happen exactly how it's written. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there when we get off the slave ships. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So we were sold to our enemies, not friends. Now black people marry white white people now. Now we marry Chinese women now. Oh our women marry Chinese men now. The Bible said they are enemies. It's a sin for interracial marriage for us. You've, have you ever heard that before? But you, now watch this, watch this. Watch, we gonna read it, keep going, keep going, keep going. For bond men, men. and bond women, Slave woman. and no man shall buy you. We was bought though, right? Because that means, wasn't we bought with a price by Christ? What was that price? No, what, was, what did Christ pay to save us? His life. Right. He's the only redeemer of Israel. That's right. I can't save us as a race. Right. That's why we still here. Martin Luther King couldn't do it either. That's why we still here. Because the only one that's going to get us out of here, that's to redeem us out of here, is Christ. That's right. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Watch this. Because I said it's, it's, it's a sin for us to marry other races. We don't go over that in church. 
Our pastors won't teach that in church. We're going to read it right now, though. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Bring it out. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. He said, don't make marriages with them. Go ahead. Thy daughter that shall not give unto his son. So I can't let my daughter marry their sons. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. I can't let my son marry their daughter. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Because they will turn us against our God. Now we do Christmas. Christmas is a sin in the Bible. You've never heard that before. <laughs> You've never heard that before. Y'all think you're celebrating Christ's birthday, don't you? Hmm. When's Christ born? Pagan holiday. Christ was yes. born towards like November? No, spring. Spring? Oh, Easter. No, Easter ain't his birthday either. That's a pagan holiday too. Wait, come but, it's a, but around that season. Yes, okay, I'll rock with you. Easter in the Bible is a sin. Hey. Watch this. Easter, Christianity makes us forget simple math. What is two plus one? Now, what day did Christ die on? What, what day do they say he died on? Good what? Good Friday. What day did he get up on? Count the days. <laughs> he died on Friday. He got up on Sunday. If I die on Friday, to Saturday is one day. To Sunday is two days. But they said he was dead for three. So Wait, we forget two plus one now? <laughs> we have become so jacked up. We don't know two plus one is three. Because in Christianity, we believe two plus one is still two. That's why you think he got up on Sunday and think he died on Friday when that is not what the Bible says. Because it's a pagan holiday too. So now, so we now we know our race is what? What did Moses call us again? The children of who? And these are the curses that will happen because we sin. Right? Psalms 147. Watch this. Let's see if everybody else got the same thing. Watch this. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showed up his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The only people that God showed his judgments and laws to was the Israelites. He didn't say nobody else right there. He showed his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. That means he ain't dealt so with nobody else. So what does that mean? That would mean nobody else got the laws of God to apply them. Right. We have to apply them. Right. Everybody else is doing what they're supposed to. We the only ones that don't obey God. Because we're the only ones that God said to obey him. So therefore, we're under everybody else that God put here that's supposed to be our slaves. Wake them up. Instead, God said, because you don't listen, I'm going to make you their slaves. When they're supposed to be our slaves. And we think we're supposed to be like them. That is our true history. Hey. That is your true race. Right. You are the real Jews. What did Jesus look like? He looked like us, but why do our people worship this one? Because we want to. It's actually because we want to. And I always question that. I say that's not what it says in the Bible. <laughs> exactly. So what the what there you go. Yes. So why do we worship him though? Because when we go to church on Sunday, we show him. Not all of us. Not all of us. Because can we all read today? No, not you right. Most of us now. Come on now. Yes. So when I say that, okay. I speak for back in my time. I got you. I got you. Me. I got you. But even back then, what did they do with us when we tried to read the Bible? How? Hanging. They would kill us for trying to read the Bible. Why would you kill a race of people for trying to read the Bible? Because they're going to learn the truth. Yes, there you go. <laughs> because now they finna find out they the real people of God and we cannot have that. So therefore they killed us because of that. Right. And today black people will say white man wrote the Bible. Jeremiah 14 and 2. They'll tell us white people wrote the Bible. A white man wrote that book. A man wrote that book. What man didn't write every book on the planet? <laughs> Nobody says that. Nobody questions all the books until you tell them black people wrote the Bible. You know why? Black people hate listening to black people that know something. Hey. Bring it up. We would rather listen. A white man could show up and do exactly what we're doing, and everybody out of that neighborhood would be right here. Uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. We out here, and we look just like them, and they don't want to hear what we got to say, because black people, they say black people don't know nothing. Bring it up. Mind you, the Bible says the only people that can teach the Bible right is black people. Hey. 
Yes, sir. And that's only when we're doing what God says. All these Christian pastors are not doing what God says. They are teaching like white people. Right. You know? They just yell and whoop and holler, and our people catch the Holy Ghost. What did you learn today? Nothing, but I feel good. <laughs> And we got a problem with God. <laughs> Read this. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Everybody that wrote the Bible were Jews. They were Jews. Watch this. Judah mourning. The word Jew comes from the word Judah. So it says Judah is in mourning, crying. Why would Jews be crying? Because our children are being killed in the street. Right. Our sons are being killed in the street. Right. We call the police and the police will show up. We thinking they're coming to protect us and shoot us. Right. Uh, we got gangs in the neighborhood. Right. We, get, we ain't worried about white people robbing us. We worried about our own people robbing us. That is mourning. Right. That's why we cry every day. That's why we ain't safe. That's why when our kids leave, we pray they make it home. Right. Because we are unsure if they're going to come back. We are in mourning. Go ahead. Judah mourning. And the gates thereof language. A gate is for protection. It said our gates, our protection is gone. It's languished. It's gone. Go ahead. They are black. What we'll color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. The deeper you dig, the darker you get. What a white man in that verse. Wake him up. So the Jews are black. Christ was from the tribe of Judah. We just read his color too. King Solomon was from the tribe of Judah. We just read his color too. Right. King David was from the tribe of Judah. We just read his color too. Right. We don't understand what we read. We're reading a black history book. You ask for your history, we're reading it. Right. The Bible was only written for the Israelites because it is our history book. When we want to look at our family portrait, all we got to do is go to the Bible. Problem is, black people don't want to do what the Bible says. Right. Because we like slavery. We say we hate slavery, but why won't we do what God says? You know why we don't want to do what God says? It's too hard for a black man to marry his black woman. Wake him up. It's too hard for the black woman to quit opening her legs to every man. Wake him up. Because the Bible says marriage. Hey. It's too hard for us black parents to teach our kids about God. We'll still put them in front of a TV and let them play video games all day. But God says as parents, we are commanded to teach our children. So whenever we don't guess who somebody else is teaching them, yeah. they're teaching them. They go to school for eight hours a day. We come home so sleepy and so tired. We say, just watch some TV. I'm going to give you something to eat. And then they watch TV. They haven't learned one thing from their parents all week. Wake them up. And then when they get 18 as a man, because they don't do this to the women, but they do it to the man most of the time. Get out of my house. You got to go do something with your life. You didn't prepare me. I don't know nothing. All I learned was from TV. And that's to be a drug dealer, to be a gangster, to go out here and sleep with all the women, and to have babies everywhere. You did not prepare me for life. And then we'll say, I hope my son get it together, but we love our children, is what we say. But we ain't doing nothing. Matter of fact, let's go to 1 John 3. Five, five and three. Let's see what love is according to God. Bring it up. Let's see what love is according to God on how we love each other and how we love God. First John chapter five and verse three. Bring it up. For this is the love of God. This is how you love like God said to love. Whenever God says show love to one another, let's see what he means. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. Thou shalt not steal is a commandment. Thou shalt not commit adultery, fornication, Stop bearing false witness and lying on each other. Right. Stop killing each other. Right. Stop worshiping other gods on God during Sunday. Stop doing birthdays because that's a sin. Matter of fact, Jeremiah 10. So the only way we love God is to keep the commandments. Huh? His ear. He got a, he got a, he got a guard in his ear. Oh, you got a cigar? Why you smoke? Why do you smoke? Because you don't want to take pills. Huh. On the package that you buy the cigarettes, don't it say it'll kill you? You want to kill you? You love you? I don't believe you love yourself. Because if you did and you read the package, why do I have to tell you to love yourself? Wake them up. You should be like, well, I don't want to kill me. I should nobody have to tell me. I'm literally sitting up here smoking my life away, and I'm supposed to love myself. You got children? You want children? I didn't. Do you want a wife? Do you do you look? Now watch this. Us as a race, if we loved ourselves, won't we want to recreate ourselves? Bring it out. 
Now it'd be different if you had a medical condition where we can't, because God just wasn't wasn't it wasn't for him to give it to you. But if you can, if you love yourself so much, why not recreate yourself? Have a wife and make babies like you. Us as people hate ourselves. We hate ourselves. You'll say you love yourself and smoke your life away. That means you hate you. Your body don't belong to you. It belongs to God. He lent it to you. He right. gave it to you as a loan, and you're supposed to do what he said with it. Right. And because you don't do what he said with it, he said he's going to kill you. And that's exactly what he's doing with that cigar. Right. Killing you slowly. Bring you 20 some years old. You might not be my age. I'm 41. All because of cancer. All because of cancer. But you'll tell me you love you. But I say you a lie. Because if you did, you wouldn't smoke. Bring it up. Especially when you know the dirt. You know it's written there and you read it and you still smoke. Read. Where you at? Yep, first Corinthians. First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Your bodies are the temple of God. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. We say that, that God dwells in me. Well, if it's supposed to dwell in you, let's see what God said don't do. If any man defile the temple of God. How do you defile your temple? <laughs> Put toxic in it. Commit fornication. Sleeping around with every woman and every man you see is, is fornication that will kill you. Bring it up. That's why you got AIDS in communities. That's why you got STDs in Columbia, number three on the list, and it's only a hundred and some thousand people to live here. And the two cities above it got millions. And Columbia is number three. So every two black people you see, there is a disease in one of them. In Columbia, you can look it up on your phone now. That's a shame. But we love ourselves. And we'll defile our temple with sex. We'll defile our temple with drugs and smoke. Go ahead. If any man defile the temple of God, uh-huh. him shall God destroy it. God is killing our people. We think the devil is doing it. When God said, no, I'm going to destroy you myself. We think God is all love and don't do nothing to no one. Didn't God say he would do this to us? Wake Didn't him he up. Do it to us? So you don't think he'll put you behind the death? I don't understand. It's backwards. We speak oxymoron statements all day that don't go together. I love myself and I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I love my people, but I'm not going to get married to the woman I'm having sex with. I'm going to dump her and go sleep with this one over here and sleep with that one over there. But if I love myself and my people, that one woman, I'm going to marry her. Because I don't want her to be looked at as a whore by everybody else. Because I love her. I don't want you to see her as a whore. I don't want her to have to correct her because she could already be married to her. Bring it up. So in order not to stain my name or my people name and my wife name, I'm going to marry her. So that way, when other races see us, they are afraid. Nobody's afraid of a high black man. Hey. Black people ain't afraid of high black people. Hey. Why would white people be afraid of you? You guess what white people are afraid of, though? Black men and women that do what the Bible say. That's right. Bring it up. And we ain't got no guns. And this is why. This is why they are afraid. Isaiah 14. I'm going to show y'all something. (laughs) I'm going to show y'all what God said will happen when we start to do what God says. Is that what I want? Is it that or Deuteronomy 30? Which one I want first? Let's read this one. Yeah, let's read this. Isaiah 14 and 1. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the whole Bible, it said the Lord going to have mercy on Jacob, which is Israel, and said he will yet choose Israel. We still going to be chosen. That's right. That's never going to change. We will always be the people of God. So God is saying, look in the future. I'm still going to choose my people. Watch this. And set them in their own land. We're going to be put back in our homeland, Jerusalem. And the strangers shall be joined with them. These are the other nations. It says they're going to be with us. Let's see what their position is going to be. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Uh And the house of Israel shall possess them. If you possess something, what does that mean? Huh? So God says the other people, we shall possess them. We own them. 
That's why white people are afraid of black people to do what God says. That's right. That's what the kingdom of heaven is about. He said, we shall own them. Read on down. And the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. They're going to be our slaves. Is it on that verse? Go ahead. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. When we captives on the, aren't we captives on the white people? So God says we're going to take those that put us in captivity. We're going to make them our slaves. That's right. When is He going to do that, though? Deuteronomy 30. Now, watch this. Go ahead. And they shall rule over their oppressors. That's why white people are afraid of black people to do what God said. Bring it out. So wait. If God says that we're going to have them as slaves, then who's the kingdom of heaven for? Wake them up. <laughs> Y'all thought it was for everybody. We just read it's only for you. Right. We just read it's only for you if you do what he said, though. And I'm going to read that if we do what he said. Deuteronomy 30, go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. In our future, the same Deuteronomy where he said this was going to happen, two chapters later. He said he gonna wake us up. It shall come to pass. That's why you see black men now teaching the Bible. On the street corners. What was the apostles teaching the Bible? On the street corners. Right. Why don't pastors come and teach on the street corners? Because they don't know the Bible. Right. That's right. Go ahead. When all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. The blessing was when King David ruled and King Solomon. Now we're living the curse. So it said when these things happen, the blessing. When we ruled at one point in time, and the curse, now we are cursed. So after that curse, this is what's going to happen. Which I have set before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt call them to mind uh -huh. among all the nations. Are you leaving, sis? Yeah, yeah. Now it says we're going to call them to mind. We're going to teach these things right here. Go ahead. Whether the Lord thy God has driven thee. Go ahead. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. And shall obey his voice. He said we're going to return and obey his voice. We're going to repent. We're going to stop sinning. When we stop sinning, watch this. According to all that I command Go ahead. thee this day, thou and thy children. So not just me, but our kids got to repent. Go ahead. With all thine heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. That then. Then. So after we repent. The Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. He will do what? Turn thy captivity. He'll do what? Turn thy captivity. He's gonna put all the nations as our slaves. That's the Bible. That's your history. That's who you really are, bro. You smoking, you make yourself a peasant. You ain't no prince of God doing that. You're telling God you don't wanna be your son. Every time you smoke, you say, I don't wanna be your son. Every time. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.